Welcome back with cocktail to Cocktails with the Queens. Now, tonight we are celebrating Black Girl Magic with three reigning USA Queens. Please welcome Miss Black USA, Tahara Gilead, Miss Black USA, Jessica McCall, and Miss Black USA, talented teen, uh, Angela O'Bain. Ladies, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. So excited to be here. You're so pretty. You ladies are so beautiful, so pretty. Likewise. Boys, I'm just, I'm, I just, I want to do this. <laughs> Why? Oh, thank you. I'm doing the same thing as I'm staring at you guys. So, uh, uh, we'll we'll take it, honey. We sure will. Listen, gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous, beautiful black women. So, this question is for Jessica, Tahira, and Angelina all together. Um, as reigning queens, what can you tell us about your platforms? Let's start with you, Angelina. So um, I personally started my platform because I've had many friends over the past few years who have struggled with mental health. And I had one friend in particular who had cut themselves and seeing them, the fact that they don't have the resources and tools that they can use and feel like they can't talk to somebody about it really inspired me to create my initiative, Beyond the Stress, where I talk to um, children and teens in community centers and schools about the different components of mental health, such as like anti-bullying, stress, all those different things. So yeah, that's why I saw my platform. Awesome. And the other queens? Uh, I'll go ahead. Yeah. I'll go ahead and talk about my platform next. My platform is called Dignity and Diversity. And so through my platform, I'm trying to encourage people to saturate fields in which they are underrepresented, especially when they have the talents to prevail. A lot of the time we fail to realize that confidence is half the battle as you miss 100% of the shots you do not take. Okay. And, right. I was raised on a notion that we're all embodiments of infinite possibilities. And so as a Black woman, I know that there are so many external barriers that society puts in our way. And so you can't be in your own internal barrier via self-doubt. So through mentorship and confidence building, <laughs> yes, I want to inspire people to step out of their comfort zone and step into their light so that they can truly shine. I'm an African-American salsa dancer who's danced in annual Puerto Rican Day parades, who has taught as the only African-American in a, a predominantly Lat Latino dance school. And I'm also in a field where only 5% of lawyers are Black and of that only 2% are Black women. So yeah. in order to be a mentor to these mentees, you have to practice what you preach. And so I have dignity in my diversity and I want to inspire everyone else to have dignity in theirs. Girl, you better speak on it. Let's give her a round of applause. Okay. Wow. And last queen, <laughs> both queens, a round of applause, honey. And it's, last but not least, Jessica. Oh, sorry, Selena. I, did, I was going to make sure you got, to, okay. Mom. Oh, we, we got one more queen left, honey. We got to get all Jessica. the tea. My platform. My platform is Living Purposefully, empowering Black women to live healthy and whole. The number one cause of death for Black women is heart disease, and the number two cause is cancer. And I lost a significant amount of people that were very um, important to me, especially at my church. I grew up in a church that truly mentored and guided me into who I am and empowered me to be the first in my family to graduate from college, go to law school and pass one of the most difficult bar examinations in the United States, California bar on the first attempt. But as time I saw people dying left and right, black women that, that really helped pave the way for me due to heart disease, cancer. A close friend of mine died due to colon cancer and she was only 25 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I see many black women in the community have high blood pressure, which is one of the segues into heart conditions. And because of that, I started researching back in 2018 to find out answers so that I can educate my black sisters in order to take back their health. And I found that there were six core factors that black women need to be implementing into their life to prevent heart disease and most forms of cancer. That's weight management, nutritional diet, regular exercise, mental health maintenance, one of the core principles, as well as reduction elimination of alcohol and early screening. And I have authored my first ebook that I disseminate for free. I disseminated it in the United States virtually so that people can have access to it and provide these tools in a comprehensive manner because I believe that our health is our wealth and I want to see my sisters live long and live healthy. Amen, honey. 
fantastic. Let me tell you something, something, all of you all. I can see why you guys are so poised and so sitting upright because you're educated and you're strong and you all are confident. Y'all three, y'all gonna put a dent in this world that is much, much needed because young women need to see more of you to be, even the way you speak, it lets them know that it's okay to be smart. It's okay to be confident. And it's strong. I am a mom. And when I tell you I'm over here feeling, I, I almost don't have nothing to say, but I'm opinionated myself. <laughs> I'm over here looking like, what? I mean, just your word choices and just the way that you're saying it in a relatable way in which everyone can understand. Your nose isn't up in the air where you are speaking down to anyone and you know statistics and you know your numbers and you know your sh- up. Stuff. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, y'all. My thank God. You. I'm glad you wow. Thank you, oh, so, thank you wow. so much. If I could, if I could just really briefly piggyback over that, I have this thing where I say, your looks may get you through the door, but what you say gets you a seat at that table. So it's really when I say confidence building, it's not confidence in how you look, it's how you carry yourself, how you speak, being yes. a well and well-rounded woman. Come on. <laughs> That's the like, same thing about this show. Our looks got us through the door and our resumes, but when we when we talk that talk, we got to stay here and be successful almost three years. Okay, with that being said, ladies, <laughs> we want to get y'all take on our queendom topic tonight. Yes. Our queendom topic is um, protecting your peace. Ladies, what do you each feel about protecting your peace? I would say that by creating boundaries and not letting others have access to how you feel about the way a per- your personal appearance or your actions and what you're doing is honestly the way I create my peace because it could truly, especially in today's society, could affect your mental health overall. Angela, thank you for that. I, I want to add this before we really get into this. I want to just talk about um, Psychiatric Times reported that women experience depression at rates twice that of men. Black women are only half as likely to seek care as white women. So we're out here hurting. Um, I want to ask you ladies, okay, about blocking out the noise, right? We want to block out that noise. And how do y'all do it? Can you do it? I think there's... Go ahead. Go ahead, love. Well, there is three core principles that I educate and empower our Black women to do. I just taught at a... Black Women's Books Good Book Club. And that's an acronym SET. You have to be so set in who you are that you become unshakable. And the first word, the first letter SET is you need to have a support system. And see, Claudia, you have all these wonderful mm-hmm. support to lean upon. That's your support system. That can also be your therapist or whoever else, your, your spiritual leader. Second, you need to have encouraging affirmations. There may be those times late in the middle night hour, you may not have your sisters there, but you need to be able to empower yourself with those words that build you up spiritually, mentally, and physically. And you need to have the spirit of tenacity, the heart of fight to never give up, even through those times of adversity or things that you're dealing with. Sahara? I agree with everything my sister Queen said. And just going back to something Claudia mentioned, it's okay to ask for help. And as Black women, sometimes we forget that and we try to isolate ourselves and handle it by ourselves. But we forget that in a Black community, especially, there are so many organizations that are put in place to protect our peace. And we just have to reach out and allow them to help us. The Miss Black USA organization is a prime example. You know, there's so many disruptions that society throws at us. We want financial freedom. We want educational freedom. We want the liberty to live in our truth. And Miss Black USA has allowed me to do that. I got a full free ride to the University of DC getting educational freedom. I have a 10K scholarship from one of our sponsors for every type giving me financial freedom. And I'm able to, um, I was able to live in my truth and be celebrated in an environment that made me feel good. Celebrate it versus just tolerate it. And that's a big difference in the Black community. Thank you for those words. And y'all are... Y'all are, it's y'all are amazing. amazing. No. And, and I got, I got to ask the Queens hearing what these young ladies said, if you all can briefly say something, I want to, you know, y'all ladies, celebrities been in the game for a very long time. I started the show talking about how I'm going through something right now. So I want to know from my, my Queens, my other Queens, my older Queens, my season Queens, not older, my season Queens. Um, how do y'all block out the noise or can you, cause I have a hard time blocking out the noise sometimes. Uh, I think the reality of that is, is that, you know, you find balance in your life, you know, yes. and, and that's what you have to do every day. Depends on what goes on that day. 
and what you've been going through, uh, how strong you're able to, you know, conquer it, you know, and, and that's the game of life. I think as you get older and more mature, it, it dictates, you know, what you're going to allow to penetrate in such a way. Um, some things is just not worth even addressing. Some things is worth taking a walk and, and, and being able to breathe it out and be able to think it out. And then some is just worth just letting the father deal with, you know what I mean? But not let it take over you at all and take you under. That is not healthy. And have that me time that we That's know right. the biblical has all the time. Speaking of biblical, and biblical, you know, biblical. I was about to jump right on that. <laughs> off of that that no, was your right. segue. Go ahead, darling. Okay. Uh, well, you know, for me, I learned a very beautiful word, and that's no. Can't be everything for everybody. Completely. Uh, you have to start with self, self love, self care, and not be feel like you're being selfish. Um, but I used to, you know, felt like I had to make everybody so happy, um, you know, and I was over here being miserable, making everybody else happy. So, um, I, I, like Lisa Ray said, I, I learned to do a lot of shedding and taking care of myself and not mine. A, a good friend of mine, she said, the higher you go, the thinner the air. Ooh, Ooh everybody's going. not going to be able to go to the next level Come with on. you and it's okay. Yep. That's a good one. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. I love it. Yeah. And, and Selena, hey, what about yourself? You know, I real simple. It has to be at some point okay to not be okay. Mm -hmm. We have to be okay with not being okay. Because when you are at that place, then you can implement all of the fantastic things that we've heard tonight from all these fantastic, beautiful women. Mm -hmm. Every single woman had something that was so powerful and potent to help. You get through your thing, but you first have to admit that you're going through your thing and not be afraid of it because people want you to muscle through everything in life. They don't want you to be sad. They don't want you to be tired. They don't want you to have it. They want you to be flawless, but that's not reality. You have to be okay with not being okay and not care about anybody else around you that doesn't allow you to not be okay. Amen. It is okay to be hurt, hurting and hurt and, and go through things. Deal with it in that moment. Sit in the moment, have the moment, and then decide how you're going to change the moment. But you have to first be okay with not being okay. Thank you for that. And no. lastly, I'm just gonna I'm gonna say that um I'm gonna speak specifically well, to black women, women, but especially black women. I think we have this thing, I talk about it often that we feel like we have to put this cape on and be a strong black woman, right? What yes. good has that gotten us, ladies? When you we put that persona up and we're tough, we're tough, people crap on you. People will put you through more because they think you can handle it. You'll be all right. You good. You're so tough. You're so sassy. They, they confuse pronounce, pronounce, uh, personality and spunk with uh, this, 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 this bulletproof exterior. And I know for years, and this is what I was realizing lately, I have been through a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that I had to put on the back burner so I could function every day. And it's time for me to stop doing that. And I know someone out there feels the same way. We got to stop doing this and putting ourselves last and worrying about the family, the boyfriend, the mother, the this, the that, because we're killing ourselves in the process. We are crying, going to sleep at night crying. We have ulcers. We have anxiety. We are drinking. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> She's so silly. <laughs> I'm gonna take a drink with you. Girl. Okay, Grace, listen. I, I was about to start crying with you. You know, cry baby <laughs> good over here. We'll, we'll start crying with you. I'm, and then she cracks a joke. Okay. <laughs> I am. That's, that's, that's how I deal yeah. with uh, my pain. I yeah. that's how I deal with pain is I make a joke to break up the seriousness of the moment. But we have to stop with the strong black woman thing because then no one takes it seriously when we go to the hospital. Our men don't take it seriously when we say, I'm hurting. Our friends don't take it seriously when we have a thing, because they're like, girl, you always pull it through. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we always will. And we have to, like, I, I have to make a commitment to myself to start facing stuff that happened at 17 and 25 and 35 and 40, because I go, I just put it in the back, like, oh, we'll be okay. And then one day it's gonna all hit at the same time. 
and you're going to be in a dumpster somewhere curled up. Claudia, we have to not be afraid. We have to go see a therapist. Seeing the therapist was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. It allowed a, a space for me to say everything that I needed to say. It came up, it came out, and then the healing process started. I encourage all women, Black women especially, to please try, find someone that you can speak to. A therapist is going to, is going to change the game. Trust me. It's I, okay. think it's, I think it's, you know, healing power and healing when you even vent to your your friends you know what I mean because once you hear yourself you know ranting it's like wow this is a problem because you have that passion in it and your friend your accountability partner is able to say oh you've talked to me about this before and before and before what are you doing about it so when you acknowledge that there is an issue then you had to become concerned about what are you going to do about it and then you can go ahead and figure out what steps that work for you because it might not be a therapist but it might be uh, um um someone else it might be your pastor it might be you know if you're close to your mom it might be your your friend or whatever but absolutely be able to get it out and to be able to not suppress it because that's not healthy either but to be able to deal with it and then put it on the back burner to be done with it and not let that get into your psyche to be able to build the wall. We got to build, we got to break down those walls because those walls is what's keeping us separated. And it's not a badge of honor, ladies, that we're strong and we went through this, 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 this. It's not a badge of honor. It's actually sad. Boom. And a lot of us are walking around with this thing on us that we just, we don't even address it. Ladies, I know we got a little bit deep, but this is because of y'all being here and you inspired us to open up. So Jessica, Tahara, and Angelina, we want to thank you for joining us and allowing this conversation and sharing your platforms. Please be sure to follow them on social media and support all their platforms and everything these queens do. We expect to see a lot from you ladies. Yes. <laughs> we're thank proud you for of having you. Us. Let us know because we're here for you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm going to right. okay. you all. <laughs> quick, quick okay. commercial break and we'll be back with more cocktails with the queens. Thanks again.